Mm. I'm here with Angela Hale from the British Tarantula Society. She's been keeping tarantulas for over 26 years, so I figured it was best to come and ask her um, about, you know, if you've got any problems with your spiders or what to do with any diseases or should an injury or even a bite happen. So, hi Angela, how are you? Hi, thanks. <laughs> so, tell me, um, is there any advice that you'd give to, say, the, the beginner with tarantulas? Um, yeah, good housekeeping is the key to a beginner. Um, what you need to do is make sure your tanks are um, moist. Um, spiders have a problem with molting if they're too dry. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, this tank has got some moisture on the outside. Oh, yeah. um, also, when the spider has molted, you see this one is stretching. Oh and yeah, it's all stretch like that for a few yeah. weeks. Uh huh. So um, you should leave them alone when leave they're, them alone. they're doing this. Yep. They're, um, their, their bits, if you like, are still um, going hard. Mm -hmm. Their their chelicerae, uh, which are the fangs, are still white, mm -hmm. and and they can't eat. Well, so definitely don't put any food near them for no a week. Food no food for a, a, at least a couple of weeks. Yeah. And yeah. then try them. If they don't feed um, straight away, take the food straight out because yeah. they're still quite soft and quite vulnerable if a, a cricket. Gets in the yeah, it can get in there and harass yeah. them. Um, when you feed them, um, obviously they'll leave a husk of um, crickets about in the tank and you need to remove those um, as soon as you can really because once they get moist that's where the mites come from and they can go onto your tarantula um, and they can multiply really quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is there any, um, any sort of diseases or symptoms that to, to look out for? There's not many diseases that tarantulas have really. Um, the only problem you'll have is if you've left a dead cricket in there and uh, you've got mites on the cricket, then it will cause a problem in your tank. So good housekeeping is the key. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, um, what should you do, God forbid, if they do have an injury? Uh, yeah, if, if you look at this one, um, you see the abdomen mm -hmm. uh, is, is quite large. Yep. Um, if you say, dropped a, a lid on it or even dropped it, um, the abdomen can split um, and they can actually bleed to death, not like normal house spiders. Mm -hmm. So um, what we can do if that happens, it, and it shouldn't do if you're, you're careful, but if it does, um, emergency things are Vaseline mm -hmm. on a piece of cotton wool. You can put that onto the outer abdomen yep. and also maybe plain talcum powder and that will congeal the um, cut and when the spider is ready to molt again then it will molt um, with the other skin underneath intact. Yeah okay okay but I mean of course it's best to avoid that. Avoid that yeah. yes definitely yeah. definitely. Is there any other the problems you should look out for that they can suffer from? Yeah um, when you actually feed um, a spider with the crickets it's probably what we do really is, is feed the crickets first mm -hmm. um, after like a few weeks um, and that way the, the, the tank is slightly drier so that means that the cricket won't die quickly in the moist air and cause problems with mites. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of problems that can go wrong with spiders and diseases other than sort of mites and things that can happen when you haven't cleaned the tank properly. Um, and you haven't got dead crickets out and just dead husks and things. Okay, so the main message really here is, is definitely prevention is better than cure. It definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So if you did have a mite infestation, what would you recommend that the person should do? You should uh, remove the tarantula out of its tank and make sure you clean the tank thoroughly. Clean all the parts in there, including the bark. Destroy um, any of the soil because that's where the mites are breeding and put all fresh new soil in there and start all over. Okay. Um, I think we should touch on, on the subject of regeneration, um, about spiders, how they, they do lose you know legs and appendages. Mm -hmm. um, what do you recommend to do if, if they come in in the morning and, and there's a leg <laughs> separated? If they've been unfortunate enough to lose a leg, which is very, very rare, um, they will regenerate the leg on the next moult. It will be much smaller and thinner, but after a, a few moults, then the, the leg will be normal size. Okay, okay. so I think the, the, the biggest question people always ask, does it bite? 
It can bite. <laughs> yes. All spiders can bite, exactly. even your house spider. Wild animal. <laughs> uh, they're all venomous. Um, these sort of beginner spiders, though, are much rarer of sp uh, biting than mm -hmm. uh, the more aggressive sort. They have a different defence, you see. Um, they're hairy um, and they flick the hairs from their abdomen to tell their predator to go away and that is their form of defence. Mm -hmm. So at a really last resort they would bite and they would only bite if they felt threatened. But no tarantula has ever killed a human being, and okay. I myself have been bitten. Yes, tell us a bit about your bite. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, we breed tarantulas, so I put a male in with a female, mm -hmm. and literally that night uh, the, the male sat on top of the female. Nothing happened at all. She wasn't receptive at all. So after about uh, 10 minutes, we took out the male again. Um, because he'd been in with a female, he was feeling a bit stress maybe mm -hmm. so I wasn't quite quick enough when I took him out of the tank and he um, he scurried and, and ran up my arm um, he did sit on my pulse mm -hmm. and it it wasn't an aggressive bite I, I think um, it, the pulse feels like a cricket really yeah. thing so I think he thought my arm was a cricket yeah um, after that he ran up and sat on top of my head <laughs> <laughs> which my husband got off in time um, and I just took antihistamine it yep. did hurt mm -hmm. it was like a bee or wasp thing okay, yeah. and that sort of pain but um, we took antihistamine and just take, took away the pain and uh, as, as if as if you've been stung by a wasp okay would you recommend putting any creams on afterwards or? no no, no. A again like a burn you wouldn't yeah. put cream on at okay all. okay mm. so just let it breathe and yeah 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 you just and also um, would you say just watch for an allergic reaction I mean you were quite lucky yeah. that some people can yeah react. I was very calm actually when I, I was bitten okay. I knew being calm would would help uh, as if you've been bitten by a, a venomous snake mm. but um, so it, it, after a couple of days the the, the feeling of numbness and sting goes and um quicker than that it would, yeah. it would go quicker than that with antihistamine okay, but right. don't be you know frightened of your spider because you've got more chance of being bitten or rather stung by a bee excellent so that's more encouraging to yeah. own a spider then definitely yeah. so okay. you live to tell the tale I live to tell <laughs> yes the <tale>. <laughs> <laughs> yes okay well thank you very much Angela so we've learnt that prevention is definitely better than cure and we've learnt what to do if an injury does happen, and even a bite. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is the, the spiders that I have recommended, the beginner spiders, it's very unlikely they're going to bite you. But if they do, we know to take an antihistamine tablet and not really to panic. <laughs>